Thank you, ma'am. Be safe. Thanks for what you do, man. No, I understand it's raining it's raining and I'm standing under in it. Thank you very much. Thank you for here. If I can get there. Hey guys. Hey man. Thank you. That's it. Thanks for thanks for what you do. All right. Appreciate well, hey, it. I appreciate heck, heck of a day out here to stand. You guys come out in it, right? <laughs> thanks, Martin. Have a good day, guys. Hi there. Hi. Thanks for the support. Appreciate well, it. Thanks for what you do. Pleasure. Must be shift change. Yeah, we're just gonna switch it over here. Well, I guess I got here at the right time. Hold on a second. Hi. Right. work at see that. Thank you very much. Thank you for what you do. I appreciate Lieutenant. that. So here. I swear there's nothing dangerous in here. Probably don't suspect that. Thanks a million. Now you can retire. <laughs> I wish. Thank you very Have much. Have a safe shift, Lieutenant. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Have a good night. Got something for you. Now you can retire. There. Thanks a million for. What you do that. be safe today. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Appreciate it. You have a good day. Uh, it's sun's coming out. It's going to be hard to have a bad day at this yeah, rate. Hopefully. All right, sir. How are you? Thank you. Thank you for what you do. Have a good day. Here, I got a. Million dollars for you. What? Million dollars. <laughs> a million dollar bill? I do. That's awesome. It's my first one. <laughs> you have a good day. Just starting your shift, sir? No, I'll just finish it. Thanks. Well, be safe going home. You out here by yourself? I am. Yep. So I got here probably about 15, 20 minutes before they started their shift change. And I've already had the opportunity to talk to several of them and give them gospel tracks to encourage them you can tell that even in a town of 45 47 thousand people which compared to a lot of places is small um, they don't get a lot of encouragement they would take law enforcement for granted we really do we forget that they're out there in the rain and they're out there in the snow and they're out there in the hundred degree weather in the mud they're in the dirt. They're stopping for for motorists on the side of the road. They're intervening in domestics. They're saving people's lives. They're the first people on scene in a medical crisis. They're expected to be social workers. They're expected to be psychological professionals. They're expected to deal with mental health cases. They're expected to deal with marriage counseling. And they have to do it all with, with a stony veneer. And they don't... And they don't really get paid that well compared to what a lot of people make. Like the people that are protesting them today. That'll protest them tonight. People that protested them yesterday make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to work three, four months and they contribute absolutely nothing to society compared to the men and women of law enforcement. So pray for these people. Pray for the men and women that work in Cedar Falls. Not one of them knows that tonight's the night. And uh, thank God for clearing the skies up for me because it was raining when I got here and it was miserable. And if you're a Christian and you see an officer, stop and thank them for what they do.
Thank you for what you do. Oh, thank you. Have a good night. We're praying for you. You be safe tonight, guys. Well, under different circumstances, I'd be intimidated. <laughs> well, you're doing the right thing today. Thank you. <laughs> John Boston, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Appreciate you, you sir. Tim Smith. And it, Jeff Wilson, good to meet you. And yeah. you do your fire and rescue. Yes, sir, but mm -hmm. I also do police thing, too. Because the well. other one's not enough. you got to just pile more <laughs> on your shoulders. Because there's not enough stress well, in fire and rescue. It's kind of a sanity issue for him. Where <laughs> and, you, and you do? I'm the police chief. Your chief? Yeah. Yeah, so I just drove by a minute ago and thought I'd come out and... Uh... Well, I just, my timing was, was just wonderful because I left, I was doing, I'm a, I'm a Christian evangelist and the group of people, the circle that I move in, we have a lot of respect for and, and value the lives of law enforcement yeah. and um, Romans 13 tells us that you guys are ministers of God's justice and I know not everybody shares our views on the Bible, but it doesn't matter, we still respect. And, and so our desire is to make sure that you know that in the climate today that even in a town the size of Cedar Falls, <laughs> which is bigger than a lot of places around here, there's, you know, you never know. And I know there's not a lot of respect and appreciation for what you guys do. And, and it's not often that people even will stop you and thank you. So, Well, we appreciate yeah, that. We yeah, do we appreciate, appreciate you taking your time out and coming here and doing that. So where are you from? Um, well, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I believe uh, a lot of things. But. <laughs> <laughs> I, I live about an hour and a half north in Spring Valley, Minnesota. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. So, oh. so and you drove all the way down here, right? Yeah, I down came here for a while. Or? Nope, just came down this morning. Left left my place about 9:45. Spent a couple hours over at the campus and it started to rain. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to stand in the rain and not have anybody talk to me, I'm going to go do this. So, <laughs> so I try to. I try to hit every every campus that I, I'm part of a project that's called the Biggest Question Project, and we hand out uh, DVDs and have worldview discussions with students. Um, and then when I do, when I'm done with that, I try to find, you know, whatever town I'm in, I try to find the law enforcement center or the sheriff's office, and I try to stop for a while. And it just so happened that I got over here today at shift change. It's never worked out that way for yep. me before. So <laughs> I see a group. Then that I way. saw a group. Yeah. yeah. That's great. So, I I appreciate what you guys do, and and I and I wouldn't want your job. No. That's, <laughs> some days it, some days I don't either. <laughs> I know that's it has to be one of the most difficult positions in law enforcement to be a chief. Yeah. 
You know, the sheriff has a benefit of having the entire community either behind him or not. Whereas you have to answer to the city council and your job is dependent on on how they feel. And, and then you also have to worry about what these guys are, how they feel. Yeah. You know, and, and that's a tough position to be in. So yeah. I don't know how you do both, honestly. I could not do what you do. I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that in front of the chief. He, <laughs> recording? No, I, I knew that. I, I do record for a multitude of reasons. Well, you would not believe the number of times I've been places and I've gotten a lot of single finger salutes and yeah. people have driven by and threatened they're going to come back and I'm like, really? Right here in front of, not here today, it hasn't sure. happened, but other places. So. Where else have you been? Uh, most recently, um, well, you know where Winona, Minnesota is, heard of it? <laughs> we, we got, got a guy from there. there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So uh, last week I was over in Winona at the campus and then I stopped at the law enforcement center there. Uh, I've been to Mason City. I hit the police department there, but in Minnesota, almost every, any town that has, any county that has a small town with a police department and the sheriff's office in the same town, normally they're in the same place. And Charles City, Charles City and Mason City are weird because they're not even in the same location. So. I couldn't find the sheriff's office, even with oh. even with the navigator. So I was in Mason City, um, been to Owatonna, Austin, Albert Lee. I try to I try to even hit the small towns if there's no campus. I'll try and stop. So that's really neat. Yeah, so that's really neat. Actually, our guy from Tim is actually cross trained as a firefighter in Cedar Falls. We do the we do what we call a PSO program. Tim's cross trained as a as a firefighter and as is uh, John Zolendek from Winona. Okay. So we've got... So is that pretty common, like you have a good portion of your op your officer, street officers are trained to do both or...? It's going that well, direction. Well, yeah, we, uh, we've kind of been, uh, since about 2005, we started doing some cross training. And we're at a point now where we've really kind of refined what we're doing. And, and there's a lot of, there's like uh, well over 100 cities that do that across the U.S. And there's a few at Minnesota, a few Minneapolis suburbs do that. Um, so yeah, it, it works out real well because you can have the guys out there doing the police thing. When a fire comes, they can help fire, which mm -hmm. doesn't really happen that much. And then they go back to policing, so it's a, a dual role thing, which really helps out both sides. <laughs> well, yeah, really nice. No, nice the my brother is in law enforcement too. So oh, okay. I mean, this is not the only reason I do it, but it helps. Yeah. Because you know he's been in law enforcement for going on 20 years, so. Wow. Yeah. He worked Freeborn County, Olmstead County, and now he works in a little town called Caledonia full time. Oh, yeah. So he manages their uh, he manages their reserve uh, program. Oh, okay. Why Caledonia needs a reserve program, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's because there's maybe it's because there's so many that there's not that many people, and so it's nice to have them for this little small town festivals and stuff. But I've been given anybody that stops there. I just have, I make so much money that I can <laughs> give away a million at a time. I can give away millions at a time. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not there. I'm, thank I'm you. Not there. Well, thank you. No, you, hey, I. If you don't mind, uh, I was going to grab the mayor and have him come out, but he's not in. I want to get it. Can I get a picture of you, the squads in the background? You can, yeah. And then I want to. Uh, I've been taking pictures of you the whole time. I so. <laughs> guess that's only fair than her. Yeah, I just want to do that and get the. Yeah, I don't. I look, I look like crud, but that's all right. No, that's all right. Well, you can put these two in it if you're taking a picture. That way, it's. Yeah, you can do that for a couple. And this will be an encouragement to the other people that I do this with because we we like to trade pictures. So it's been it's spreading across the United States. There's a lot of us. I shouldn't say a lot, but the numbers are, numbers are growing. Thanks for stopping, by the way. And oh, yeah, yeah. but Thank there's you. I have a friend who is a retired Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy. And he retired and was a chaplain for them. And then he moved to Davenport and he's uh, with the church down there and he's a full-time uh, missionary, regional missionary. And so he does campus ministry and he does the same thing. He goes to every single town around Davenport and Iowa City and stops at uh, the police departments and the sheriff's office there and reaches out to them. And, and so he'll put up a picture, hey, I was able to stop here today and then he kind of got the ball rolling on this, and so once he once he started doing that, now that now it's spread, it's down into it's into Omaha now, which shows it's going further west and it's going north. And so I just 
I want you guys to know we uh, there's a lot of people out there that maybe don't say much, but there, there's a lot of Christians that are praying for you guys every day. We and I told a newspaper reporter in Owatonna a couple of weeks ago, um, 29th of September. He, I went into Owatonna and I stopped at a campus there, and that was a lot smaller than I was expecting. <laughs> There's like nobody there, so I went over and I was going to stop at the police department, the law enforcement center, and it was in the middle of the homecoming parade for the Owatonna High School. And I drove around forever trying to get there, and I finally ended up having to stop. And I walked about four or five blocks like this through the parade, <laughs> on the, not through the route, but against traffic because everybody was leaving. And as I posted up outside of the law enforcement center, a reporter who was covering the parade walked by, and so he stopped and talked to me for about a half an hour and wrote up a, a op-ed piece nice. for the Dodge County paper and uh, the Still County Times. And I told him what I'm going to tell you guys and, and pass this on to the, your men and women. Your, your lives matter because my life matters. And I want you guys there when something's going wrong. I might carry when I'm, out, you know, when I'm outside of doing my ministry and stuff for the protection of my own family. And I have a firearm at home, obviously. But I can't be everywhere and I can't count on the fact that it's not going to take you guys a while to get there but when I need help I want you and anybody in their right mind knows that their lives are only going to last as long as your lives do so I mean that and it's a long convoluted way of saying thank you but I appreciate what you guys do so thank you so very much hey thanks I am um, nice yeah, yeah that's what I stood here long you, enough sir. to bring the sun out um, <laughs> Waterloo is Nine miles the other side of oh, roughly yeah, right about eight. Yep. About eight. Yep. And are the police department and the sheriff's office there in one location or are they split up too? We're like a block apart from each other. Yeah, you got the sheriff's so, office, courthouse, and then Waterloo PD. So is it all in a all right on one road one street then? It, it kind Most of is, of it, but it's yeah, yeah not it's as, kind of set up like different over there with yeah. how where they park and patrol you know, it's on the back side of one building and but I could post up on the, like a corner and be sh and probably catch a few yeah. of them. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so stood right on what yeah, 6th just, Street. Just go up to this street here, take a right, and just keep following it. Um, you'll curve into Waterloo. Oh, you hit that construction. East Fifth Street. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I've got a nav okay, navigator yeah, on my there. phone. Yeah, just to a Blackheart County Courthouse. You can okay. probably stand out in front of them and hit both buildings almost. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. So I thought before I head back up, I'd do that. So. That's yeah. great of you. Well, thank you so much. You guys have a great day. You. Thank, thank you, you for listening much. to me ramble. I'm no, tired. No, <laughs> take care. You guys have a great night. Get some That's what driving home's for, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> great honor to meet you. Thank you for what you guys do.